Hey guys, hey. back out again with uh, Vampire Diaries. This is season 6, episode 19. Because, because. so last episode, um, Stefan got his humanity back on. He was only off for what, two, season, two episodes? Just not that bad. Um, I think they had to because you know what? We already we saw seen, him yeah. go so, through this. Yeah. We're done. Yeah. I'm more interested about yeah. Caroline, actually. So <laughs> I guess this episode, or maybe the next one, they're going to maybe get her shit back on. Um, but the thing about her is she's more smart than everyone else. Like Elena and Stefan were kind of stupid, you know, so they was easy <laughs> to get caught, you know. But the good thing with Caroline is she knows all their tricks, you know. Like, you're gonna lock me up, or you're gonna have this guy, Stefan, um, try to trick me up. So what the frick I do? Stab him and leave, you know. Um, yeah. Also to get these witches slash vampires in the mix, you know. I think they're called heretics or something. I don't know. Yeah, but yeah. which the witches 2.0 because yeah. they're like whatever. Yeah. So uh, we're gonna see how that plays out. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, guys, you're gonna be able to cut these jobs on this description and this good. How cute is this place? It's adorable. Okay, so I'll bite. So you hunt me down, you can whine to me about how your mom is a bitch. What kind of mother doesn't love her own children? Whatever. So she spun you a web of lies and couldn't flip your humanity switch back on. Oh, it didn't and now work. You eat people. What the yeah, hell are we doing work. in a B&B in Groveville? Well, I figure we could... No, I think it did work. Take a little break. Oh, oh is this him um, yeah. faking it? Yeah. Who are you calling? Hey, can I get some towels sent up to the room, please? Thank you. I'm hungry, so I figure we could eat whoever brings him up. So what do we do once you're under trust? We drain her of her blood, make her weak, and then bombard her with everything she used to care about. Memories of who she was, her friendships, her mom. What is that? Caroline got rid of everything from her former life. Her mom had sent this letter, intending for it to arrive after she died, which it did, but Caroline had already flipped her switch. Now what are you doing? Just making us some drinks. Do you want to do this? Let's just get it over with. Oh, okay. It's gonna be oh, because it needs to be convincing. Yeah. Okay. Seven. Yeah. What happened? We got caught. Well, I think that's smart. The comment that my mom thinks that she's going to use the polar ferns of the 1903 prison wall. Okay, but we're not letting her people. Well, I may have reinforced that possibility when I gave the ascendant to her for safekeeping. But it said her friends are vampires who can do magic. I think the PC term is witch pyre. The term <laughs> is freaks we've never dealt with before. But it yeah. doesn't matter because she still needs you to do the spell to open up the door to 1903, Bonnie. Oh, so means she's going to come looking for me. Yeah. So we stole her. You prefix fix this before she becomes my problem. Yeah, Don't because she's still here pretending to care about me again. Oh, oh. that sucks. It's true, though. They have a, a connection now. Oh. You know, he needs to be Can careful. Tell you? <laughs> <laughs> they vampire proofed a B and B. How do they even know we were here? First, they drain our blood, then they starve us. I know how desiccation works, Stefan. Uh. Elena, let me get. Humanity police was your idea. We really want you back, Caroline. Remember that time Jeremy died and you turned off your humanity and tried to kill the prom queen? You see, Stefan and I are just finding it a little ironic that you think you're qualified to tell us how to deal with the death of a loved one. I'm not here to preach to you, Caroline. I just came to show you this. This letter from your mom arrived at our dorm just a few days after her funeral. Elena's making a mistake though, because she just she just said we really want you back, Caroline, but she never said anything Stephen. about Stefan. Yeah. I would have caught that. Remember when she taught me how to write my name in cursive? So what? Am I supposed to read this and snap back to sad, pathetic, motherless Caroline? No, I said burn it. Well, do it. Maybe I should read it. 
first. Then why do you care? Yeah, I mean, what happens if eventually you get your humanity back and you hate me for destroying the last thing your mom wanted to do? Did those words seriously yeah. just come out of your mouth? Can I say something? No. Um, I wouldn't have given it to her right now either. Yeah, sorry, Elena. <laughs> If you want us back, you have to try a lot harder than that. My God. Lorenzo, it's you. So you two know each other? The phrase small world comes to mind. Does he know that she was trapped in the prison world or something? She burned the light. That was my ace in the hole. Well, why would I blew you... it. Yeah. yeah, you did. I... That was pretty stupid. You, you don't leave with that. that. Yeah. People. Sounds like the rats are restless. Ugh. I thought your veins felt like sandpaper. They do. So take my mind off it. Dude, he probably feels bad by doing that, having sex, because he thinks that, because she's not, how, she's not, she's not in a normal Bored. state. Go away, Damon. Brought you some real light reading from the true crime section. Well, it's probably good that your mom's gone. That would have been one hell of a cover-up. Why are you only picking on me? Stefan's yeah. here too. I'm only him. Because Stefan didn't snap a barback's clavicle in half. Yeah, I mean, this is suspicious as fuck. She got yeah. Answer, Dana, How does it feel to know that you can't get some of the life that she really wants? Shut up, Carol. <laughs> I'm just stating the facts, Elena. Yeah, you don't want this life. You can play fantasy land all you want. You'll always be settling. And it's just so sad. Damn, she's I good. This. I don't, but I figured you were aware. I've been in prison for the last 100 years. Well, Chestnut, hey, you turned me and left me on a passenger ship full of headless corpses. Wouldn't it be easier to say you forgot what Captain Monroe was in? If only that were the case. On the night I turned you, my friends and I were captured by the Gemini Covenant. All this time, you thought that I abandoned you. I would never do that, Lorenzo. See, I was trapped in that prison world with six others. Caring for them as we starved. Surviving on two drops of blood a week just to preserve our rations. My lunch date has stood me up. Bonnie Bennett. You see, my traveling companions remain trapped in that prison world. Miss Bennett has offered to get them out. Uh, da, da, da. My here friends! Here My friends! Here comes Enzo to fuck up the day! My friends! She keeps on saying that. It's just so annoying. Oh. You've got a lot to learn about your son. What do you mean by that? Uh, he's not the most trustworthy, Jeff. Should we do close the fucking thing? Yeah, why don't you close it? Where have you been? You know, like, not. What are you, my mother? Is it with you? Is what with me? The ascendant. It's not where I left it, and I very much doubt the housekeeper took it. Well, maybe you misplaced it. Well, I don't have it. So start pulling up pillow cushions. You have not heard me, son. I need it back. Turn that a priority on my list of problems right now, mother. Find it. Or rest assured, I can just as easily destroy something of great significance to you. Tucked inside a shoebox. Clearly, you've learned the art of hiding from your mother. Yeah. You wouldn't do that. Am I making you nervous? Caroline. When did you flip it back? See? Yeah. What are you talking about? Your humanity's been back on this whole time. Yeah. They were only picking on me. You must yeah. be it took you long yeah. enough. <laughs> Don't you think I am, Stefan? Yeah. Well, it took you, you long enough to figure it out, Caroline. Oh, the whole time. I don't, like I don't really feel like kissing anymore. Started on the fun they would have with a newly human. I don't bring her that she's gonna destroy it. 
I mean, at this point, leather yeah. Is it leveraging you? Yeah. Because the apple isn't all far from the tree. I kind of feel like at this point, fuck the best mentors is two ducks. Yeah. I don't cause I don't That's your fucking stupid fault. I know you, David. I spent four months with you. Day in, day out. We went to hell and back again, literally. And you're more scared now than I have ever seen you before. I probably should never brought that cure back. If you think you can handle it, free a bunch of people who want to cure me and anyone else who tries to stand in their way. And then you can spend the next 70 years watching Elena grow old and die. I mean, these are six psychopaths. I mean, it's not that fucking rocket science. I mean, at this point, fuck the cure. Over Elena's fucking happiness. Say, it's not like this is for Elena to, yeah. you know, she's fine. Yeah. The, I mean, she's not fine. She'll always wish called by this point, just like, oh well. Step out of the car. Mom, what are you? I said get out of the car. They're under arrest for the murders of Chris Benton, Jason Hemon. It's me, it's Caroline. I'm afraid you're mistaken. Oh, they do the mom thing? Compassion. She looks after those in need. You're not real. You can't. I know what you're doing to me, Stefan. My mom died. She's dead. But this isn't real. Oh, wow. oh, oh, he went her dreams. Visions in my head, that was your plan all along. You need to come back now, Caroline. Just get away from me. <laughs> So no one can help here? Do I want to know why you suddenly decided to take up sewing? <laughs> well, Caroline and I spent the entire day digging in the woods to find a teddy bear, and now she wants to repair it. She, you uh, should have seen the look on Caroline's face when that bear fell apart. You're a good friend to her, Stefan. I hope someday you'll be more than that. I'm dying. I'm allowed to be blunt. I'm going to start to move Caroline. I want it to be perfect. No loss, no pain, no grief. Which is why he kind of pushed her away yeah. at the funeral. Hey, do you want me to mail that out for you? Oh, no, thanks. I'm still working on it. I'll mail it out tomorrow. I have an idea of what I want to say. It's just... I guess I want it to be perfect, too. <laughs> Let me see her. Wait. Wait. Mom. But he wasn't in there. Please, Mommy. Please, Mommy. Mommy. No, just show me the vision again, okay? I, I want to see my mom, Stefan. I, I need to know what she said in that letter. I already gave you the letter. Tell me you have the ascendant. I can't. Because I don't. Spare me your indignation. We both know I did you a favor. That sense of relief. As long as you're happy, she never needs to know. Oh. Oh, did she give her to her? Yeah. is important to me too. I fear it the best of me. Oh, she might become the whipper again, right? Or totally, I get it. If I take this, everything changes. You're gonna take the care of Lena. I'm gonna take it with you. What? I'm gonna face my future without you. 
I thought you killed him. You're a I'm human too. Well, I think it'll work initially, right? But then he'll yeah, die but out eventually. Yeah, but this will yeah. It'll work for maybe you a You know what? Months. Maybe we're wrong about that then. Maybe we're wrong. No, I think that's... I like, would... maybe we're... I, I, I know what happened in the past yeah. with, with Catherine. But I'm talking about maybe they changed the story or maybe... I don't know. Maybe in, maybe Ca in Catherine's situation forgot. was different. But maybe he can take it and he'll just become human. So let's assume that. Okay. Um, I mean, it could be some fucking bullshit doppelganger blood or something like that. The thing is, though, if... I don't want him to do that because that's not what he wants that's what she wants there are things just... and he may resent her later for it yeah sure i mean he has no he he doesn't want to do that yeah he wants to be living together with vampires but she wants to be human and they will both want to be together you know yeah well yeah, i mean she's thing. just gonna have to yeah you know, you know i think she she may just just need to become human then because you know, it meant, it meant a lot to her when they were talking about those things, about having a family. And... Yeah. To be honest, can I be, can be uh, completely honest? I just... I don't really give two bucks about the Damon and Elena storyline. I mean, I, I get it. It's been going on forever. I'm a lot more interested on the other stuff, like Stefan and Caroline. You know, those two relationships. The mom and yeah. these new... Yeah, yeah. yeah those yeah. storylines are more yeah. elusive to me yeah. right now. But we need to... You know, they this storyline of them has been going on for seasons. Yeah, easy. and if this is going to be the end of it, we need to make sure that we talk about it. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I just I feel like they should have done something a little differently. Um, I mean, I don't know. I mean, not differently, but just I feel like there's always something in the way of their happily ever after sort of thing. It's sort of like the whole uh, Sam and Sam and Diane effect or Ross and Rachel sort of effect. You get them together, and then people just don't want to see them together. You know, it's like they always yeah. try. It's like they spend yeah. forever trying to be together, yeah. and then when they are together, it's like, it's like it doesn't yeah. last. The and then, they, to and then yeah. they leave, yeah. <laughs> and then it's they want each other, but then yeah. it just never lasts. Yeah. Really, I mean, I think that's what the effect it is right now. Maybe I'm just falling into it, but as for the episode, I loved it. I'll be enough. Info did not bother me at all this episode. Normally he's been bothering shit at me every episode he's in, but this is the one episode where I actually kind of enjoyed it and I actually liked the relationship between him and the mom, you know? I it's agree. It's not him plotting against that thing. I like this storyline between him and his mom, some women's connection, the abandonment issues and stuff like that. I like that a lot more, you know? So hopefully they can start rewriting his character a little bit more. I did like how, you know, he gave her a hug afterwards and yeah. said it's okay because... So those witch, those witch vampire people that are locked up, are they the ones that are helping her not be a, 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 a river? I think that's what she said. Yeah, they're like a, they're Okay, a so I mean, maybe if if Enzo can be that new person for yeah. her to help her keep her in check, then you know they may not need them. You know, I mean. And can I also say too, one of my one of my other favorite parts of this whole season actually is Bonnie saying, "Fuck it, I'm doing something for myself." Okay, I'm tired of fucking sacrificing myself for everyone else, and no one gives a fuck about me. So mm -hmm. uh, let me just destroy this thing, because they're all going to come down for me to release them. So I'm destroying it. And I think it's kind of... I think with Damon saying that I was going to let it happen, I kind of felt like, um, no, I'm doing it for... It, it's smart, okay? My mom's planning this thing. I would say fucking have this, the cure destroyed. You know, it's better having a cure destroyed than having six psychopath witches, vampires out on the loose. You know, mm -hmm. yeah, I shouldn't. It really shouldn't be a choice. You know. So. I just want to mention Caroline, and I just feel so bad for her yeah. because she was literally laying on the floor, just saying, "I ruined everything." Yeah. You know, and just oh. It felt really, very, very depressing. To be honest, the actress is doing a great yeah. job because I believe everything she to said. To be honest, if I was watching the show by myself. I probably would have shared, uh, shed a little manly tear. I'm not yeah, cry. I probably would have cried. I'm not going to cry about the screen. <laughs> I, I definitely would have. When she was, um, when she was seeing all the papers and everything, I was like, oh, shit, don't say nothing. Because I'm about to cry. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, no. Um, fantastic, fantastic episode. If you guys want to follow, we have to check out the Patreon. Link's in the description down below. And
and uh, see you next one.